again guys. Right, I want to show you one of my favourite items I actually own in the world. Um, this is my World of Nintendo uh, display sign. Uh, this is from 1991, so 20 years old this year. Um, now a bit of history with this sign. Uh, my friend Ed had this uh, back in 1991. Uh, his mum was big into sort of working with uh, computers and she knew a guy who basically hooked Ed up with his own uh, Super Nintendo uh, display unit, like a, a store display, uh, in his bedroom. Uh, so it had this sign at the top of it, then it had the uh, big CRT TV and the actual console itself, uh, like in a Perspex display. Uh, so I used to play on this system quite a bit at his house. Um, then he had to give the Super Nintendo part back, but they let him keep the sign. Um, then it went on to be passed on to my friend Gav and he had it for about 10 years after that um, and then around about three years ago uh, I finally inherited the giant World of Nintendo sign um, again pretty much 20 years in the making uh, to get it to where it is now um, but this thing is truly awesome when it's turned on uh, it all lights up and I'll show you in the dark when it's working it's just immense um, again it's built like an absolute tank it weighs quite a lot um, I'll show you inside in a moment um, and you can see why um, <laughs> this thing really is just bulletproof uh, it must weigh around about sort of 20 25 kilos it's pretty heavy uh, but yeah amazing piece of uh, engineering inside right so let's have a look and see what it looks like on the other side so this is actually inside the uh, World of Nintendo uh, sign and as you can see it's all go a bit closer it's all optic fibers inside uh, going around all the letters so some poor bastard out there um, was obviously making these there are thousands and thousands of optic fibers going to all these letters I and mean, you can see at this top bit there just how many there are so someone out there in uh, probably 1990 1991 was uh, hand pushing these in to each letter on the Nintendo sign and if we also have a look at the top here again it's got the original label there Fiber optic lightings incorporated. Um, doesn't actually say where it was built, but there on the date there, 1991, and just gives the wattage, etc. Right, so I'll turn the lights out now, and I'll show you the Nintendo sign in its full glory. So here it is then, the World of Nintendo sign. Uh, hopefully the camera can pick all this up. Again, all those individual little uh, fiber optic cables there, all working in conjunction. It just looks truly awesome. Pretty loud, it's actually probably louder than an original Xbox. Um, but yeah, this thing is just so, so sweet. Again, one of my favorite, favorite things uh, I've got in my collection. Um, again, if this went up for sale, I wouldn't even want to know. I, mean, I reckon it'd probably go for somewhere in the region of about a thousand pounds, probably. Because again, I've seen a lot of Nintendo signs out there uh, go for crazy cash, and none of them are as good as this by far. So, guys, um, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Um, again, this is going to be going in my games room if when I finally get it finished. Um, again, had a really busy week, um, so really not got too much more done this week. Um, but again, just wanted to show you that with you, and uh, again, there'll be uh, some more things I'll be sharing with you about my new games room over the next sort of week or so. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you soon.